Our number one goal for 2023 was to buy our first real estate investment property. 15 days into the year, we are on the road right now to the one and only mountain bike capital of the United States, Bentonville, Arkansas. We got three homes we're looking at today. Home number one is in the heart of downtown Bentonville. It's beauty, a modern farmhouse design that still needs a little bit of work, but it's in the right location. If we can get it for the right price, that's gonna be the one that I really like. It's five bedrooms, two baths. Home number two is actually a townhome, identical to the one we stayed at in this video right here. It's actually the next door neighbor to the one we stayed at. It's a townhouse with three bedrooms, three baths. Home number three is actually the biggest on the list. It's over 4,000 square foot. It's not in the downtown Bensonville area, but it's over 4,000 square foot, two living areas. So you can have one entertaining area in the basement. Five bedrooms, five baths, and that's actually one of the cheaper homes out of all of them. So we're gonna look at all three of them today, possibly put in two offers, we will see. But enough has been said. After making a pit stop after that three hour drive, we're gonna start at house number one, the Modern Farmhouse. Easily the best thing about the Modern Farmhouse is the location. Located three blocks away from the downtown Bentonville Square, it's in walking distance from some of the best restaurants and best bars that Bentonville has to offer. You're less than a mile away from some of the major trailheads for mountain bikers and less than a mile away from the Crystal Bridges Museum. Another great thing about the Modern Farmhouse is that it's five bedrooms. So here is one of the bedrooms upstairs because there's three total bedrooms upstairs, two downstairs. So even though this is a even though this is a small house, it still has five bedrooms overall. It looks tiny, but it's five bedrooms. And utilizing our research and AirDNA's data, we realize that five bedrooms seems to be the sweet spot for maximizing potential Airbnb revenue. Another great thing about this house, it has a lot of character. It felt very special. The house was built in 1940s, has a lot of great woodwork all throughout the house. It has original hardwood floors, good woodwork going around the staircase, on the staircase rail, and also the woodwork around the skylights were very nice as well too. Some of the potential cons about this house is that it is an old house. One in particular thing that we noticed was some sloping in the floors in the dining room. If we end up liking this house, we may even have to get a structural engineer out. Another potential con about this house, even though it's five bedrooms, the house feels cramped. The ceilings are short, coming in eight foot tall. Even though it's five bedrooms, and we say you can have 10 guests in it, the house will feel very cramped. There's not a big entertaining space, so, at the same time, while you can fit 10 guests, it's probably not ideal. Another bad con about this house is that we will have to spend a significant amount of money when we first buy the house to even get it up and running and being competitive. We're gonna have to do a full gut out repair and remodel of the kitchen and the lower level bathroom to get it competitive with some of the other homes in the neighborhood and charge top dollar. So house number one we just looked at, now we're going to house number two, the townhouse. Let's go check it out. It's, I believe it's this one right in the middle. We actually stayed at that one a few weeks ago during our New Year's trip here to Bensonville. The main highlight at this house, like I said on the last one, is actually the location. Located less than a mile away from the downtown Bensonville Square, but it's actually right next door to the Momentary, which is another highlight of Bensonville, Arkansas, which is actually this building right here, which offers the rooftop bar, which in this video right here, my friends and I stayed there and celebrated the New Year's, which was a really cool place to hang out at. This place is ready to list the second you close on Airbnb once you have it furnished. There's no remodeling needed. Just take some photos and post it on Airbnb. You're ready to go. Another great thing about this house, it feels very spacious, very tall ceilings in the living room. It offers three bedrooms, three bathrooms. But this house, in comparison to the 1940s modern townhouse we just looked at, felt like it lacked a lot of character and felt very sterile. Another bad thing about this house is the parking situation. They only offer two covered parking spots at this location for guests. Another problem with this house is that it's only three bedrooms and being three bedrooms, potentially less income on Airbnb. House number three on the list. This is the biggest house out of all three of them. So let's go see if this is the best deal or not. House number three on this list is one of the biggest houses out of the group. Over 4,000 square foot, two entertaining spaces, five bedrooms, five bathrooms. 
This house is huge and great for big parties. And from our research, like I said earlier, five bedrooms is a sweet spot, and this is the perfect house for big parties to come mountain bike and explore Bensonville. So this is the little other deck, trees and forest, and there's your other deck right there. Another great thing about this house, there's no renovations needed as well. A great thing about this house too, it has a motivated seller. The house has already dropped $100,000 since the original listing price five months ago. We could potentially put an offer on this house and get a really great deal. But some of the downsides of this house is actually one of the pros is the size of the house. It's massive. It's going to cost a lot to clean. Also too, very expensive to furnish. A lot of people recommend budgeting about $10 to $15 per square foot. So if you do the math, 4,000 square foot times 10, that's $40,000. And that's on the low end. The furniture is this massive beast of a house. One of the potential downsides to this house as well too, it's a little bit further than the other two homes we looked at. It's about a mile away from the Bentonville downtown square. And the issue with that is it's not really in walking distance anymore. You have to either bike or drive. The last issue I can see with this house is potential neighbor issues. The neighborhood that this house is located in is a very quiet and very nice neighborhood. I could foresee a potential of a big party coming through and making a lot of noise and causing a lot of ruckus and disturbing the other neighbors and potential issues down the line. After reviewing all three property options, we went ahead and decided with the E Street location in the heart of downtown Bensonville that came in at a listing price of $815. We went ahead and submitted an offer of $750,000. So we will keep you guys updated in the following videos. Hopefully the next video topic will be our first Airbnb project. So go ahead and like the video, comment any questions, subscribe for more, and we will see you guys in the next one.